If you're looking to score some newly legalized marijuana in the eastern part of Colorado, you're going to have to drive out to here, to what seems to be the middle of nowhere. Down the road from the shuttered mill is a burgeoning dispensary. And one thing, again, about this grow, it's a very small grow. It's, it's a transitional grow, if you will, while we're getting into our new facility. Sedgwick Alternative Relief is the only game in town. And really, it's the only game for miles. We are the first dispensary in Colorado, and then there are no others for another two and a half hours. The shop is located in Sedgwick, population 147. I know what you're thinking. The marijuana business relies on volume. So why on earth would someone start a dispensary where there are virtually no people? As it turns out, owner Michael Kolaritz seems to have cornered the market on a specific demographic. Let's call them road trippers. I found it on Google, just a, a place across the border, not too far. Find the nearest golf course, um, sample it a little bit. We both have cigars with us for afterwards, and uh, see if we can hit the ball, I guess. <laughs> We're the equivalent of a McDonald's in, in an airport. Every day, there's 10,000 new people coming through your store because they're traveling through. Cedric is located right off Interstate 76 and is about a 20-minute drive from the border, which makes it a very attractive rest stop for people entering and exiting Colorado. I would say probably about 75% of the business is coming from out of state. That high percentage is not uncommon. A recent study by the Colorado state government says that conservatively about half of retail marijuana is being sold to tourists. And that number can climb to 90% in towns on the edge of the state. In just a few hours, customers from seven different states bought from Cedric Alternative Relief. This has been the economic equivalent of a set of paddles to the heart. We will conservatively triple the town's revenue. And while this has been good for business in Colorado, it's caused serious headaches in neighboring states. When you cross that state line, Kansas law takes effect. It doesn't matter if you, it's legal in Colorado, it's not legal in Kansas. Traffic stops like these are becoming more and more prevalent. What began as a stop for speeding has turned into a search for marijuana and other drugs. It, their destinations changed several times. They're supposedly brothers, but their stories don't match between what they're doing uh, when you talk to them separately. So. Ultimately, they didn't find anything incriminating in the car. No, that's one of those you just scratch your head and wonder what you missed. While this stop didn't result in a bust, Sheriff Penalto did show us Colorado pot confiscated during a recent arrest. This is what was on her. A large quantity was dropped off and this is what was left. Uh, in 2012, I had 34 uh, marijuana arrests. Up through March, January, February, March, I had 34 marijuana arrests. That means that Sherman County is on pace to quadruple its marijuana arrests for 2014. More arrests means more court appearances, more overtime for officers, more prisoners to house and feed. And it's not just Kansas who is feeling a squeezed budget. Colorado marijuana is spilling into states all over the country. Well, so far we've been able to document at least 40 states where Colorado marijuana has gone into. Tom Gorman heads a federal team of law enforcement focusing on drug trafficking in Rocky Mountain states. They reported that in 2012, 7,000 pounds of marijuana had been confiscated across state lines. And the thing is, they believe that only 10% is being caught. When they legalized marijuana in Colorado, they said that this would eliminate the black market. But in fact, we have become the black market for other states in this country. That, that's what kind of upsets me about Colorado's actions is they've legalized this without really any control. Uh, basically, they're controlling it through permitting. How do you control a crop through a permit? It is not Colorado that's creating the problem for other states. It's the people that come here and then violate Nebraska's laws. So it's like anything else. Be an adult and act like one. <laughs>